so lane tier list we are not going to be doing all the goofy gods usually whenever you do a solo tier list everyone says but what about aphrodite um or like you know like every god in the game basically because you know everything's kind of solo viable uh, i'm just going to put those in the niche probably and then have like the rest of the majority of normal characters just put in there you know try to leave it mainly on the good characters to worry about uh, but we'll see what happens towards the end you know anyways Start off with Achilles. Um, probably put Achilles in A. Uh, not really the strongest, not really the weakest. I mean, basically, currently on the 11.4 patch that we're playing right now, um, if you're not abusing Equinox, then you're probably losing to it. Um, so Achilles will probably be losing to Equinox, unless you build Equinox Achilles. Um, but either way, he's, he's just a solid, solid A tier. Um... Next, we'll just keep in line with typical solos for now. Uh, Ama, um, I probably also put her in A. Um, maybe we want to maybe want an A plus category because I would say Ama is probably A plus, but not S tier, just because she can go Equinox, um, but she's definitely not. Um, she's definitely not too bad, but she's not the greatest with Equinox because she's not gonna have that much pressure with it. She's gonna be a lot squishier and easier to bully out. Um, but she's an Equinox purchaser, uh, overall, even outside of Equinox, if that gets nerfed, or when it probably does get nerfed, um, then it will be, um, she's just a solid pick, solid pick. Uh, yeah, actually, you're right, let's just do this, let's do this, we'll do an A+, plus. sure, boom, and then we'll just do S. Um, yeah, I'd say Yama just A+, plus, just because she can build a Econox, but she's still one of the weaker Econox characters. Um, and after Econox gets nerfed, um, I would still say that these are pretty accurate. Um, let's see, Aokong. Aokong is kind of solo viable, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go ahead to the normal picks here. Bologna, S tier. Um, probably the best character, um, besides someone else that we're gonna talk about later on. Um... You can go Axe Equinox, you have a bunch of prots in your passive. So you're the safest um, character in the game to build an Equinox Rush. Um, the only other character you can Equinox Rush right now is Osiris, and she'll lose to Bologna. Or he'll lose to Bologna. Sorry, my fault. Um, but yeah, Bologna, very strong with that item currently. Um, next, we'll go with Serb. Serb is probably... He's probably a solid B. Yeah, he's a B for sure. After Conduit nerf, he's gotten a lot weaker. Even with Conduit being as broken as it was, he still wasn't the best, one of the best Guardians. Um, you know, if you get your 2 interrupted, then this character is basically useless at that point. Um, and if they have ways to escape your ult, you're basically useless. Just, he's very uh, counter pick specific. Um, into the right gods, he can be an insane pick. Into the majority of the characters are just blind picking it. Usually not going to be the best. Um, let's go with the whale next, actually. I'd say the whale is probably, probably a C tier. Honestly. Um, they kind of nerfed the fuck out of this character. Um, yeah, he kind of, he kind of got slammed. Um, yeah, and plus he's really boring and, like, no one wants to play this character. Um, but, yeah, this character has kind of gotten owned by the, uh, the nerfs to, uh, nerfs to him. Um, I mean, you could literally, I could literally look at every, every character in the game here and put them on the list. Um, let's go with Cthulhu. I would say even after the Conduit nerf, um, yeah, Cthulhu is probably an A for me. Um, you know, you're gonna have to go Conduit or Sans now. Um, you could also go Vamp Shroud because it's bugged right now, it gives 30 power or Tainted back to the Tainted build. Um, but either way, he, he was mainly very strong just because of Conduit being strong. Um, he's not generally a great rank character because he, uh, he's basically an ult bot. If your ult's down, um, you know, you're not doing very much. And uh, when you're looking at ranked, uh, the shorter your cooldowns are, the more brawly you can be, the better. Um, and Cthulhu is uh, an all-in teamfight ult character, and that is typically going to be worse than ranked. Especially, granted, because you can't solo carry the game on him. You need help from your teammates with him. So, he's just a solid ad. Um, Erlang. This is a little bit dangerous. A little bit of a dangerous rating here. 
if I was talking about Erlang for myself, I'd put him A+. Plus, but honestly, every person that I've seen try to run Erlang solo, they've not done well on it. Um, so maybe... Maybe I would leave Erlang in... Yeah. Yeah, he's a B. Yeah. He's only B right now because Equinox is strong. Um... He, there's a lot of counter picks in Erlang, a lot of picks that make his game very difficult. And if you don't know how to play Erlang solo into those picks, then you're not really going to be able to play the game at all. Even if you do know how to play it, it's going to be hard to play it. Um, so yeah, he's just he's a solid B. Um, you know, he's a he's a character that I think takes a lot of practice in solo for some reason to uh, learn the matchups and how to how to really use them. Um, but still solid with a new item. Chalk, um, I would probably put in S tier for sure actually um definitely better than Alma um not better than Bologna but he actually can be a counter into Bologna um just because the attack speed reduction on his three um side point you know if you're playing chalk to counter uh the equinox uh builders or any auto attackers make sure that you drop your axe and then you three um so you get the double attack speed reduction um anyways uh, yeah, Chalk is always going to be really solid, really tanky, um, just a standard smite, solo lane, lane, you know, like, you're just unkillable, trade well, um, heal a bunch, counter a lot of picks, your lanes aren't going to be bad, just, this is always going to be a really solid pick for almost everybody playing the game, whether you're a noob or you're a good player, just, um, just an annoying lane character, um, we can do Kama, sure. Kama, I would probably put into B. Yeah, I, I would say most of the time, this B, uh, the B angle here is going to be for characters that can have very good matchups, um, you know, whether it's into their backline or your lane, um, depending, but most, you know, most of the time it's not going to be a solid pick for you. Um, but yeah, Kama's the same way where um, if you get a lane, like let's say if you're Kama into, let's say Ama, that's a good lane for you. Uh, because she's a lower pressure pick and she's going to allow you to uh, to get out of the early and to scale, get your items online so you can kill their backline and be a big problem. But um, if you're playing in like Bologna as Kamba, you're going to hate your life. Um, but yeah, he's just he's just solid. If you can uh, if you can get out of lane, you can bully the backline. Um, then I would say he can be good for sure. Thanks, uh, Dane. Appreciate the sub, dude. Thank, thank you. Um, let's go with Kikolin. What do I think Kikolin is? Hmm. I would say he's probably somewhere in between A and B. Maybe we should have a B plus. That might be a little bit too specific. Um, yeah, I would say Kikolin is probably in between A and B. Um, to be honest, let's just let's just add it for now and let's see let's see what we what we think about that. Let's do it for now. What do you think? Too many tiers or nah? Because he can also, he can slide. He can slide as an A. But I would say he's a B plus. All right, we'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kikon, he can be good depending on your matchup. Um, if you're into a bad matchup, like backliners are difficult to get on, like let's say, um, you know, any backliner that can get out easily, um, like a Neath, I don't know, anything. He's just sometimes subpar, sometimes pretty decent. Um, not an Equinox builder, but he's just solid. Solid ish. Um, Guan. Hmm. I would say Guan is probably... I don't think he's C tier. He's probably just a B. I could see him possibly being a B plus. Nah. Nope, he's a B, for sure. He's a B, 100%. Yeah, the thing is that uh, Guan doesn't really have that many really like good lanes going for him right now. Um, typically when Guan is really good in the meta, it's either because healing items are broken, like Cad Club, um, you know, or whatever, whatever healing item is strong in the game, you know, Fey Hoops. So none of the healing items are strong right now. Um, his, 
his lanes aren't good for him right now, and his late game has never once been good for him. Um, so, yeah, you're just... Some lanes can be decent for you. Most of them are not going to be very good. So you want just a solid B right now. Um, let's go with... Here's another pretty standard solo. We'll go with Gilg, I guess. Mm, what would Gilg be? I'm leading A. I'm leading A right now. Maybe B+. Plus. Yeah, he's a B plus. B plus. Um, just because, you know, the like a lot of the lanes above these, you're gonna be losing these lanes as Gilgamesh. The one the only lanes that you can maybe have a good lane in here is maybe Ama because of low pressure early. Um maybe Achilles, probably not though. Um depending on whether the enemy has sustain or better clear, your your lane's gonna be hard. Um it can just be solid sometimes. Um but solid solid B plus I would say. Um, we can do RDO. Hmm, RDO is probably, she's probably a C. It's kind of what I'm feeling off the bat. Yeah, yeah, she's a C. She just doesn't really have any items going for her right now. Really, like, just no strong items, like... Yeah, just... Just pretty Middington right now. I mean, actually below Middington, she's C. Um, yeah, just not really much going for her right now. I don't know, just... Not really there. Um, let me think, let me think. Hades? Hades might be a C as well, bro. Hmm... C or B, 100% in one of those tiers. Would I say that he's better than RDO and the Whale? Probably the same tier, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna drop him in C for now. The, the, the crazy thing about Haiti is that he actually used to be... He used to have the strongest early clear in the game. Um, but now that you have to clear both the buff camps separately... Your clear is actually horrible uh, because you don't have enough minions to stack up and to full clear it. Um, when before you drag all the camps together, you drag the blue and the backs together with your mid laner, you would one shot it and you'd have the fastest clear in the game. Now you just have to sit there autoing the buff for like 10 years and it's just, he went from the best to the worst clear in the game um, for the buff. So that alone makes him a lot weaker. Uh, and then after that, once you get to the lane, you're not you're not gonna be the first to lane, you're not gonna be the first clearing, and that's a really big deal for Hades. That's like that's like the entirety of why Hades used to be good, is that you would clear the bus before everyone, you get to the lane before them and you'd clear before them and you'd hold that pressure down for a while. Um but yeah, currently he doesn't do any of that. So you just kinda like lose early as Hades and you're wondering what you're doing with your life. Um Let's go with I mean there's some silly picks here, but let's let's go to like the norm the more normal ones. I mean, let's just let's just blow, let's let's blow it, let's blow it out here. I mean, like we'll throw Osiris up into S. Um, this character um, is an Equinox abuser. Um, you know, like these these two guys or this guy and this girl, they're big problems right now. Equinox builders. Um, yep, pressure Equinox builder. It is what it is. Running the lane. What a surprise. Um, Let's go with Herc. He's not D tier. I'm just slapping it there. Um, I would say Herc is probably... He's probably B+, plus, I'm thinking. Mm, I could see him maybe being A. But I'd say B+. Plus. I'd say B+. Plus. Um, you know, he just doesn't really have that many good items for him right now. Maybe Frostbound. You know, maybe. Maybe you could build Ukonox on him, but like, none of these items are just like really great for him. You're kind of just like, you're just buying them because they're strong items. They're not really Herc items. Um, same issue as Cthulhu. You can't really, you can't really carry the game. You can't just go kill their backliners. Um, you're kind of just like, 
just a tanky problem running around CCing people and you're hoping that your backliners will follow up off that CC. A lot of times, um, they don't. You know, they just don't, unfortunately. So you just, you just need a lot of help from your team. I would say he's pretty, pretty Middington because of that. Arthur. I would actually put Arthur in probably the A tier. I think. Yeah. Yeah, Arthur's A tier for sure. Um, he's gonna win all these lanes uh, against against these guys in B plus. He's gonna win the lanes against them in in B as well. Um, Arthur's just got a he's got a pretty solid lane right now. He's got pretty decent items for him right now. Um, the only thing is you're gonna lose the Equinox buyers for sure. Um, but he's solid. He's got a solid lane right now. Um, in solid team fight, obviously depending on who you go against. If they lock in an Aries, you're hating your life. Um, but you know. Pretty solid right now, pretty solid. Let me think, let me think. Who next? There's, I mean, the thing is, when I'm looking at these characters, I could literally, like, rank all of them, bro. Let's go, Surtur. Um, Surtur, I would say, is... I actually thought Surtur was going to be a lot stronger. Um, but currently with the Equinox buyers, it's hard to tell. But I would lean... I'd lean probably A, maybe. He's definitely not B. He's not in the B territory. I'd probably put him A. Yeah. Yeah, I'd put him A. I think that his one could get, could get, a, could get a buff. Um... And he's not an Equinox builder. You can you can build an Equinox, Equinox on him like you can with Achilles. It's not going to be ideal, but um, he's he's pretty solid. I mean, pretty good damage as a warrior. Pretty good lane pressure. Um, depending on the characters you play against, you know, if you're playing against an honor, you're not playing the video game. But depending on the carries, if you get a good blink one on them, um, you know, he's pretty solid right now. Um, Odin. Where would I put Odin? Odin's, I'm immediately thinking A plus to S. I'd probably put A plus. Hmm. Yeah. He's A plus to S. I would say for the average player, yeah, these two are not the same. Ama and Odin are not in the same tier. Yeah, I'd say put a mess. I'd say put a mess. Um, if we had an S plus tier, then it would just be Osiris, Bologna. But I think that might be too many tiers. Honestly. What do you guys think? Because these, these four are not on the same level. And these two would not be on the same level. It's a very evil pick. Or talking about something else. Yeah, I mean, Odin is uh, another one of the really strong meta characters right now. Um, down ones here. Nah, I'm not doing all that. I'm doing S+. S+. Yeah, you can't see it. Sure. All right. Yeah, these, these are the best. These are the best two characters right now so far. Um, yeah. This is better. This is better. Yeah, Odin's really strong. Really good character. Big problem after they buffed his uh, buffed his three. Let's go with Wukong. Just get it out of the way. Wukong is S plus hundred percent. Um, really, any build you go on him, you can go full damage on him right now, even. Um, or you could go um, Soul Eater into Breastplate or Soul Eater into Glad Shield. Um, but yeah, pretty much every single lane in the game is going to be good for you on Wukong. Um, Wukong is also good into these two Equinox Spiders. Wukong is uh, really difficult 
uh, for Osiris. Osiris has a really hard time bowling out of Wukong just because you can always ox his tether and walk away. Um, Bologna can't bowl you because you have an attack speed slow for both these guys and you have a slow so they can't stick on you. Um, and you can bludgeon, or you can uh, ox the bludgeon. Yeah, Wukong is just usually a really good pick into these two. And into literally everything in the game. Um, really good into almost every backliner, etc. Just really good character right now. Let's go Nike. Um, Nike is probably... She's probably... I'm thinking B+, plus off the bat. Maybe A. Um... Yeah, I'd say I'd say B plus. She has a hard time against every single one of these these characters in the A tier. Actually, these are all counter picks for Nike. Um, yeah, I would say I would say that Nike's B plus. Um, on her, I'd probably I'd probably build Jotuns and Jotuns is you know it's solid, but um, these lanes are actually almost every single lane above here is difficult for Nike. Um, so yeah, she's just just okay right now, kind of okay ish. Um, let's go Lance. Actually, I'm. This is a spicer take, but I'm actually gonna put Lance in maybe A here. Maybe A to B plus. For most people, I need to think most people. I guess I'll put a B plus then. Um, most people. All right, all right. Let's leave this out for now. Let's let's stick with the traditional stuff. My bad. I was getting carried away. I was getting carried away. Let's go tier. Um, tier is, I would say, probably A. It's a solo lane tier list. Yeah, I would say tier is probably A. Um, he's pretty good into auto attackers um, because auto attackers can't auto attack um, tier. Um, dude, Alma's just seeming a little out of place in this A plus tier now. Let's let's get rid of the A plus, bro. A plus. Let's get rid of it. If it's only one character, uh, then there's not much of a point. Um, I could see her leaving it. Leave it at A then. But yeah, too solid. Um, into the auto attackers. Um, just because uh, they can't auto attack you. Um, and he's got pretty solid items. Pretty pretty annoying to deal with. Hard to lock down. Pretty solid character still. Let's go with the next warrior down here. Vamana. Oof. Oof. Yeah, Vamana's probably... He's probably B+, I'm thinking. He's an Equinox abuser, but um, he's just been... He's been nerfed too much recently after he was strong in the start of the season. Um... He is an Equinox abuser, um, but he's not aggressive with it really. The mono wants to scale typically and get to like mid game where you have like hastened, um, and Equinox is usually like mainly strong because you abuse it early game. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd leave him in B plus. Just kind of kind of a nerf character right now. Um, next warrior, Mulan, sure. Mulan, I would say, is probably... It's probably a C, bro. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with C. Not really, uh... Not really too great in a lot of these picks. They're gonna, they're gonna be really, really hard for to deal with. Um... Yeah. You're just gonna get punished by a lot of these gods pretty easily. Dude, this baby this baby's looking out of place to me. I'll leave him there though. I'll leave him there. I'll leave him there. But yeah, Mulan's just C. Not really the greatest pick. Really, really abusable, punishable by a lot of these picks. Not too many great items for her. Um Let's go with Shiva. Oh lord. Oh lord. I mean, he he is C tier. Can oh, is he B, bro? Is he B?
Let me think. Oh, dude. I hate to be that guy, but like, he, he might even be a B plus, bro. He might even be a B plus for like the for like these normal these standard games, bro. He might be higher than that. He might be a B plus. Hmm. I think he actually he actually might be B plus. I hate to do that. Bro, okay, this baby this baby's B tier. He's B tier. I'm sorry, the baby the baby's B tier. I don't care if he's an Equinox abuser. That god is not it right now. Alright guys, Shiva's Shiva's B plus. Um, you know, for your for your standard games, Shiva's actually gonna be pretty good. Um in your in your normal games. So there it is. There he is, Shiva and B plus. Any warriors down here that I'm not seeing? Probably. Let's go with um, Robin, Horus. Uh, Robin is probably he's probably also in the B tier. Yeah, yeah, Robin's B tier for sure, for sure. Um, Soul Eater's decent on him. You could honestly maybe go Equinox on him too, um, but pretty overall just. Kind of B. Kind of B. Um, yeah, I don't see where Horus is. Oh, there he is. Horus with the Golden Blade removal. Um, he's not an Equinox abuser. Um, he is not. Yeah, I mean, you're probably going Runeforge on him still. I actually have not played him too much recently, but I would go ahead and say that in most situations, he is probably in the C tier. Um, you can't really, you can't really, like, yeah, yeah, you see too, for, for, for sure, yeah, he just, uh, he just hasn't really had, uh, had a great time since, um, since they removed Golden Blade, I feel like. You just gonna be a hard time farming right now. What matters a lot in solo is your is your farm, like your pace of farming, uh, because there's so much farm up with the totem, the two bastions, uh, the the naga, uh, and then the meteor, and then the bold demon king, and then the wave. Um, yeah, and Horus has always been a slow farmer. Um, so unless you go mannequins or something, you're gonna have a hard time farming and keeping up. Loki, Jing Chen, sure. Jing Chen, after the conduit nerf, I would probably put him in. He's probably still like he's probably around B to B plus area. I would lean B plus. Yeah, I'd probably put him. I'd probably put him B plus. Um, I mean, with the Conduit nerf, it's going to be hard to clear, um, but you can go Conduit, Mystical Mail, Rush that you can clear, um, but usually it's good CDR, uh, or Rushing CDR is good for him, but yeah, probably B+. Plus. Um, you're going to get out-pressured by the Equinox builders pretty hard, um, but he's he's still okay. Um, let's go with... Let me think, let me think. Sure, we can do Yorm. Yorm, I would originally think probably C to B. He's definitely not B plus. He's not B plus. I'd say probably B. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right now, if you if you're into Equinox uh, builders, you're gonna get cooked. Um, really, just doesn't have the greatest build. You're gonna have to go like Tainted Chronos Pendant. Um, you're just gonna be pretty abusable. Um, but yeah, probably probably B B tier. Lance. All right, we can do Lance now. Lance for the average player. What do you think? What do you think?
Probably B plus. Okay, maybe it's B. Let me think. You're lancing into these matchups. I mean, the only one that's hard here is really the is the Herrick. He's probably he could be B plus. I don't think he's A though. Nah, he's not A. I'll go B plus. This Jing Chen feels out of out of place actually now. I think he's he's probably B then. Yeah. Just the the clear is just gonna be hard without conduit now. Yeah, Jing B, Lance, B plus. Um I've been going to Axe Blackthorn. Um I mean, his pressure's pretty good actually. Um But obviously he has hard matchups depending on like, you know, characters that have stuns, like Achilles is a good matchup into him, Arthur's a good matchup into him. Um but yeah, I go B plus for him. Thor? Where is Thor? Boom. I'd probably say Thor is in the B plus area to maybe A area. Let me think. Probably B plus. Yeah, yeah, Thor's probably B plus. His his pressure is very weak early. Um so you're gonna you're gonna be giving up Totem, um probably CDR buff and probably the Naga as well pretty early on. And if there's someone with pressure, then they can build that lead pretty hard on you. Um, but you have really good uh, team fights, and you have really good rotations with the team, the teleporter with your hammer. Um, so yeah, probably probably B plus. Yeah, you can work well on Naja. Yeah, it does. It do. Uh, let's go with Serbek. Serbek is B off the rip, hundred percent. He's a B. I would say most guardians after the patch are probably in the B area, um, just because their clear is going to be so difficult now, um, and you know they have the usual guardian thing where they they have good setup, good CC, um, they're really tanky, hard to kill, but uh, just B, B hundo percent. Um, who else is pretty easy to throw in here? I want to. I don't want to start reaching until later. Rat. Sure, we can do rat. I would say Rat is probably in the B tier. Pretty pretty quick and easy. Um, Acorn is just so expensive. It makes it really difficult. Um, you have to go like, you have to rush your Acorn. You're really squishy for a while. You're really abusable. Um, yeah, probably just a quick and, quick and easy B for me. Bacchus. Bacchus is dead after the Conduit nerf. Like, he's dead. He's a C. He used to be pretty pretty good, but um, after the conduit nerf, he's dead. Um, you can't clear anymore in Bacchus. Opwash? That's a quick C. Um, quick C. He doesn't have any strong items for him right now in solo. You can go like tablet build, maybe. Um, but yeah, his, his build has gotten de devastated. No good builds for him right now. <laughs> Just not very good. Anubis. Um, you know, generally, let's not go there yet. Let, let's let's use the niche category actually for Anubis straight away. Um, sometimes Anubis can be good. Sometimes he can be really bad. Um, I'm putting him in niche. I'm putting him in niche. Baron. Um, Baron is probably C to B. He's probably a C. Really punishable. Yeah, just, he's a C. Charon dead? Yeah, he's dead. Charon is dead unless you go full damage. Um, and if you go full damage, then you're kind of, you know, it's just still, you're still having bad clear. Um, but we can put him in here. He'd probably be, he'd probably be a B tier, at least. If you go full damage, you'd probably be at least a B tier, but um Yeah, I mean he's he's kinda just dead, to be honest. I'd probably just I'll probably just throw him in C. Um just because you have to go full damage for him to be even relevant. Um 
Yeah, he's just he's pretty dead. Most guardians are that have bad clear that relied on conduit to clear for them. Atlas, um, also a C tier. Um, the only thing you can do is go full damage on him, and same thing as Karon, same situation. Um, let's go Al Kuang. Al Kuang, I would probably put in. He's probably B. It's probably a B tier at least. Maybe a C tier. Ah, he's probably he's probably C tier. Yeah, I mean it's the same thing where his his items have been has they've kind of been nerfed down pretty hard. Yeah, he's probably C tier. A Willix? I mean that's a little bit crazy. That's a little bit crazy. Let's go to there's gotta be something more. Kuzenbo. I could probably see Kuzma being a B. Maybe he's a B plus. Nah. Nah, maybe he is actually. Hmm. He's probably a B plus, honestly. Um, even with the nerfs, nah, he's he's a B, he's a B after the nerfs to to kind of do it in his two CDR. He's definitely he's definitely a B. Um, but he's still he's still pretty 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 annoying, pretty solid. Um, definitely not the greatest pick anymore for sure. Naja, Loki, I'm throwing Loki in a niche. You know, this niche category is basically just like the like one tricks that just love playing this shit. Like I could I could rank these, um but it really just like depends. You know, most of the time these are gonna be bad picks. Most of the time. Um but they could be decent. And then going to D tier. You know, you're you're right. I've been pretty generous with with this D tier. I've been very generous with this D tier. I mean, honestly, I could move a pretty good amount of this C tier into D tier. Cleo? I think full damage Cleo is actually pretty decent. I could see, I could see it being at least... At least a B, maybe B+. Plus. Um, B plus is pushing it, though, in my opinion. That's pushing it for me. Yeah, that's pushing it. I'd say she's a, she can be a B full damage for sure. Okay, let's move some things in C tier to D tier then. Um, Aplash would go to D tier. Bear would go to D tier. Ardio and the Whale would go to D tier. Bacchus would also go to D tier, I think. No, I'll leave him there for now. Yeah. I think that's fair. I think that's pretty fair. Let's let's move on. Let's move on. Um Kabraken maybe. Kabraken I would say is probably off the rip, maybe C to D. Yeah, I'm gonna go with D, honestly. Um, there's just there's there's not any good builds for him right now, and you're gonna you're gonna get out pressured, you're gonna get out damaged, you're not gonna be tanky enough, you're gonna get out sustained. Yeah, I just throw him in the D pretty pretty quick. Afro, listen, I'm where's Afro? She's going to niche. She's going to niche. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ranking that. <laughs> I'm not ranking that. The tree. The tree is probably straight up into C. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's going straight to C. Um, you know, the tree can be good sometimes with, with early clear, um, but you're very punishable. Yeah, I'd probably just go straight straight to C. The whale is S++. Good one, dude. Uller. 
I would throw Uller into the niche tier as well. Um, the only people that I've ever seen do well in Uller solo are me and solo. Solo or troll. Um, so I think that's kind of the definition of niche. Um, Uller can be good if you're good at him in solo. Um, but yeah, I don't really see see anyone playing it. Yeah, I, that's like kind of the definition of niche. Fenrir? Fenrir would be probably straight to C, maybe D. Yeah, so if, if the rest of these picks, okay. We can push some of these down. I'm just going to go ahead and push some of these down. I'm going to go ahead and push these down. Yeah. That's better. That's better. Fenrir, let me think. Is he really C? Nah, Fenrir's probably D as well. Am I counting Ares? We can. Yeah, I mean, Fenrir... Um, you know, there's really not a viable build path for him. Um, you can go maybe Equinox Rush. Maybe. I mean, it's just, you know, there's just not a viable, really a viable build path for him. Ares, I could see Ares being a C to a B, but I'd probably leave him at C. Um, just because your clear is so bad, it's so difficult to... Um, to clear, you know, especially after Conduit nerf as well. Um, but, you know, depending on your matchup, if you have, like, Ares into Arthur or Ares into Tyr, maybe you can be annoying for the land, and maybe you could push that lead out, but generally, I'd be able to see. Um, we can move to Guardians. Bel not Bologna, Athena. Athena, I could see maybe being a B. Um, but I'm going to put it in C. I would really only want to see really good players handle Athena because their laning phase is really poor. And no matter how good you are on her, you're you're gonna either you're just gonna you're gonna be under in gold and XP. The only thing you can do is try to make rotations with her that are more impactful for the rest of your team so they can carry you. Um, and if you're not rotating perfectly and getting the farm, the correct amount of farm that you can get while being on Athena, I mean it's gonna be hard. So yeah, probably uh probably a C. On her, I mean that's a little bit crazy. Let's 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 go to the guardians first. I mean honestly, past I would say I would say right here, past these characters and probably a while ago. Um, I would really only say if you're if you're a normal player right now, um, I would really only look at A plus like A and up. Like these are the characters that you should be like looking to play if you want to win your games like a and up um the rest of these are kind of just like very very niche in whether you like these characters or not um because listen you don't always need to play what's what's the best you know play play what's fun and what you want to have fun with or or what you want to play but just just know the separation that these are the good characters that if you want to win play these and the rest of these um it's going to be like pretty arbitrary ranking Naja. Night Britta. Naja. Where is Naja? Here. I'd say Naja is probably. Yeah, he's a C. He's a C. Okay, is there any other realistic character? Zhang? Sure, we can do Zhang. Zhang is probably... He's probably a B, B plus. I could, I could see him being up there. Mm. Nah, he's probably a B. Probably a B. Um, if you go Mannequin Zhong, then you can have a pretty good amount of pressure and be pretty annoying, but... Baka and Terra, okay, sure. Um, if we're honestly ranking Baka, then he's probably D tier. Yeah, he's D tier. 
Terra. Terra is probably a probably a B. Probably a B to a C. I could see Terra maybe being a B, uh, but for most characters, she's pretty. She's probably she's got a pretty high skill ceiling with how you play her in solo and how you how you clear. Um, so I would say for most people, she's going to be a C. Um, yeah. Yeah, she's a C. Okay, now that I'm looking at this B tier, I could see Erlang maybe getting moved up. I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him. Honestly, it's it's still it's still probably the same. I mean, Bach is pretty bad. Pele, um, Pele would probably be in the C tier. Yeah, she's probably C. This is for solo. Susano niche niche circuit. That's a D tier. Chonga. Ooh. You're actually right. I forgot about Chonga. Chonga could be. She could be. What could Chonga be? Maybe a B plus, actually. B plus to a B. She's a B, actually, never mind. I'd say I'd say her and Chonga are pretty similar. No, I definitely know. I definitely know Changa is like not strong or anything like that. Like she's, she's, she's at, at, at top end. She's B plus. She's B plus like at her max. Um, but yeah, I would say that if you're on any of these characters, you should be running over a Changa. Maui. Okay. That's troll, bro. Nuwa. Is that, is that a new, is that a 1500 MR special? Um, Nuwa. Where is Nuwa? I can't find her. I found her. Nuwa is probably straight into the D tier. Would I rank Geb? Geb was actually pretty solid um, when Conduit was OP. Like Bacchus and Geb, they were pretty solid. Um, but now I would say that he's probably he's probably a C tier. He has he has pretty good solo clear still. Um, but yeah, he's probably a C. Okay, I think at this point. I mean, we can do like maybe, maybe some of the assassins, maybe that I'm missing. Um, set. Set would probably go to B. B to C. Probably C. They just nerfed that character so much. I'm not doing all of them. Suki. Sure, we can do Suki. Suki is probably a B to a B plus. Um, but I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay in B. I'm staying in B. Um, he's just so punishable. He can be really good if you start getting a lead and you, and you don't get punished. Um, especially, especially now with the bull demon king, you're not gonna have your wards up to like protect yourself from getting clapped on and getting punished. So, yeah, he's a B. Chronos, if you're a Chronos split pusher, a PVE split pusher, uh, that's that's niche tier. Um, he for some reason every every once in a while you will see a random chronos one trick that's in like 3k mr queues and it's just because they're just they're just pve chronos split pushing down and like these guys just somehow get out of that out of that like out of that mr and into our mr like just by playing chronos and split pushing i don't know it just pve gameplay they just get up there they just somehow get up there every once in a while it's just some random dude just playing chronos um, Bastet. Bastet is probably probably. I'd say B. Yeah, B. Solid B. If you're gonna go Bastet, so just go full damage. Um, and I'd say it's probably it's probably around a B. That's so Chad's put pushing Giga Chad. 
Um, let's do Nem, another another assassin. I would say probably probably C. Even with Equinox, um, probably probably a C. Okay, any other somewhat realistic characters down here that you guys think I'm missing? Thanatos? Thanatos is probably a C. Straight into the C tier. Hell? Hell is probably D tier. Um, you're gonna get your scrumptious little chicken, little snack waiting to get cooked and, and ganked, and you don't do very much damage. You don't have a great build right now. Healing items are not good. Vulcan is troll, bro. Ymir? Ymir is C tier, for sure. Um, maybe even D. I think I might be bold by letting him into the C tier here. But I'll let him stay there. Who are good counters for S tier gods? That's actually a good question. Um, if you look at the S tier, the above S tier, um, Bologna is the counter to Osiris, and Wukong is solid into both these picks. Um, for Odin, um, Osiris is the counter to Odin. Um, if you look in the counter to Chalk, um, it's probably just going an AFK farmer. Like Ama, Ama's a good pick into Chalk because you just ignore him. You don't really want to kill him anyway. You just farm and you you out uh, you outscale him and you'll be doing more in the team fights. Um, Tear is also good into chalk. Um, yeah, there's really there's not too many like great picks in Odin. He's just Odin. Like the best thing you can do is like cancel his three. Um, other than that, he's just kind of a dude that just kind of. Stands there, I don't know, you know. Um, you just want to be something that can reliably get out of the cage, basically. Um, but for some reason, yeah, maybe maybe Lance farms out, and who knows. <laughs> it's just only in tears, yeah. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much all the reasonable characters. I mean, there's a lot of unreasonable characters in here already, to be honest, but... I think that's about all of them, isn't it, boys? Surely. I don't think we really forgot anything in here. Morgan, nah. Cleveland Bacchus to Blown and Osiris. Um, the Nerf Conduit. Any hunters? There are not really any good hunters in Solo. I mean, I could rank them, but they're all gonna go to like D tier or C tier, you know, something like that. Or maybe niche. Um, but yeah, the same thing as I said said as before, if you're looking at playing anything below the A tier, you're basically just doing it for fun, and I, you know, I mean, like, play what you want to play for fun, um, you know, this is, this, it's a for fun game after all, um, but if you want to, if you want to know what the good picks are, then it's, it's A and up, currently. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. After this, you know, you can just rank. It's solo lane, so you can always play everything in solo, and you can fucking sit here and rank every character in the game, but it's probably pretty pointless. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's the tier list, boys. That's it. I mean, if you want, if you want my the tier list for my picks, it'd be different. It would be different. You know, it'd be like. I mean, it'd be like ruler up here. It'd be like ruler. That's actually it. Maybe like this would go up here. Maybe, and this would go up here. But these are my these are my dopamine picks. These three. So it is what it is. And yeah, maybe maybe Lance is fun now, but not really. Wasn't gonna be that much dopamine. I mean, it's really just these. That's it. Boys? Now it's gamer time.